Since assuming political responsibility in Egypt, President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi has said the priorities of the 2030 strategy, including concern for health and education, as the President launched a set of health campaigns under the 100 Million Healthy Lives initiative aimed at providing health services throughout Egypt. Comprehensive health insurance system. Seven years ago, the government sought to provide health services along with rebuilding the infrastructure of health facilities to ensure the provision of treatment services with international standards without discrimination to all Egyptians by launching health initiatives including the launch of a comprehensive health insurance system across Egypt. President Assisi launched the new comprehensive health insurance system in four governorates, Bursaid, Luxor, Ismailia and South Sinai. It is scheduled to include six other governorates in the first phase at the end of 2021 to provide medical services with the highest quality standards as they were met with massive demand from the Egyptian people after the registration of nearly 3.8 million citizens, especially as the system provides high quality services through the health care authority. A decent Life Initiative President Sisi also launched the Decent Life Initiative or Haye Karima which aims to develop health units, medical centers and hospitals per the standards of the comprehensive health insurance system to provide medical services in 1400 villages in the Republic, ensuring the provision of an outstanding level of medical services in line with President Sisi's vision 2030. The first phase of the initiative began in July 2019 with developing 375 villages considered to be among the poorest in 14 different governorates all over the country. The services provided to the villages were in the sectors of health, education, drinking water, electricity and gas, roads and transportation, along with sports and environmental services. On December 28, 2020, President Sisi announced launching the second phase of Haye Karima to include another 1,376 villages distributed in different 20 governorates with a total of 150 billion pounds investments and 18 million beneficiaries. The initiative to detect breast cancer. Egyptian women have had a large share of President Assisi's initiatives with the Women's Health Initiative dedicated to early detection of breast tumors for 28 million women being one of those initiatives. 12.5 million women have been detected so far, 3,000 women have been treated from breast tumors and at the same time 24 cancer centers in Egypt have been rebuilt and developed and treatment protocols have been developed according to the latest versions of tumor treatment in the world. The presence initiatives had a general resonance among the elderly and those with chronic diseases as the early detection of chronic diseases and nephropathy initiative was launched. The coronavirus. President Assisi played a prominent role in combating infection, allocating 100 billion pounds to support the health sector and provide all means of prevention and safety from infection transmission. More than 100 million doses have been agreed upon to secure Egyptians from the risks of infection and at the same time more than 40 hospitals have been designated for isolation with the provision of medicines to treat symptoms of corona and the provision of various medical services for those with chronic diseases. The Waiting List End Initiative The completion of 835,345 surgeries were announced as part of the initiative of President Assisi to end waiting lists since its launch in July 2018. The costs of the initiative amounted to £5 billion and £425,603,000 and and the performance of surgical operations for 24,650 patients replaced drug treatment in various specialities. Campaign to detect obesity, anemia and stunting diseases. Medical services has been provided to more than 90 million citizens within the framework of presidential initiatives in the framework of President Assisi's recent initiatives to preserve public health including the obesity initiatives for school students. The health ministry launched a campaign against obesity through media outlets as part of President Assisi's 100 million healthy lives campaign. The initiative to eliminate virus C 
Egypt screened 35 million people for hepatitis C virus between October 2018 and March 2019 in a national campaign to supercharge the response to viral hepatitis. The initiative to eliminate virus C had succeeded in detecting 70 million citizens and that Egypt has succeeded in reaching zero infections. Welcome back. Indeed, enormous work has been uh, done in this uh, very particular uh, uh, segment. Uh, enormous plans and programs put by the leadership in order to enhance uh, the, the, the sector or the health sector, which has been neglected for a yeah. very long time. And uh, um, if I have to say unprecedented, unprecedented initiatives that were put for the health sector, let me hear, take your opinion about that because people might, or, or, or when we're speaking about people, not speaking about our people, but rather the whole world would no, not no, really no. Uh, uh, um, learn the truth of what really happened, particularly in such a sector. Yeah, uh, to be honest, it's a very good comprehensive report, but uh, when we judge, any sector, in particular health, we have to see the initiatives done or the achievements done, as well as the challenges that's overcome. Yes. So if you have made achievements only like the initiatives of the president, that's good. But if you have done initiatives and as, uh, as well as combating the corona pandemic, which affected the strongest health system, that's outstanding. outstanding. So Egypt a performance in this sector uh, in the way it is done, including the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Higher Education, the private sector even, and the uh, health facilities within the military and the police academy and everywhere, that has been a very orchestrated uh, 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 story of success. Uh, to be honest, uh, once you read about that, just go outside and read about the WHA reports mm. or the international organizations which are taking uh, scores and uh, uh, measures uh, of progress. No, Egypt has made a significant progress. As in the report has said, from the start of the comprehensive uh, health insurance system to the 100 million to uh, most recently uh, the decent life that's upgrading all aspects of life within the uh, rural area of Egypt. So uh, to be honest, uh, the achievements have been uh, outstanding, enormous, unprecedented, as you said, and the money, amount of money uh, that's spent for upgrading the health service, uh, we can judge because we suffer quite a lot from uh, underfinancing the health facilities. But, uh, for example, just one for the initiatives is cutting short the waiting list in the teaching hospitals. That one. I was personally involved with it. Do you even imagine that more than almost 900,000 yeah. cases were, uh, yeah. were, were really hospitalized and put into surgery when they were... Absolutely. Could you even imagine that? And these patients were helpless, were hopeless, and they were bedridden in the majority of cases, waiting for very long and exhaustive surgeries because of lack of fund. But the government has paid that one. I just would like to say the story of making a task force for the corona pandemic as well. Egypt score and history of uh, corona management has been outstanding as well. So it's a success story and anyone with a bit of objectivity can judge that what has been made in this sector is outstanding. If I may just pinpoint on, uh, pin, uh, pinpoint on uh, uh, some of the very yeah. important initiatives, that of the 100 uh, healthy lives, yeah. ending virus C, See, because that absolutely. was... Yeah, it's a stigma, as I said. Uh, yes, <laughs> indeed. Yeah. Uh, uh, women. Women's uh, healthy uh, initiative. And the yeah. breast uh, can breast cancer, cancer yeah. issue. Uh, let me take your opinion of, of how the world, so Egypt, proceeding in such initiatives, putting programs with its very limited resources yeah. that has to, or, or that Egypt has 
to fulfill all aspects of life, including the daily bread of the citizen. Very good. May I just direct your attention to the mega project in health, that is the comprehensive health insurance. That is the uh, project for the millennium, I would say. That is the project for the 21st century because it's going to transfer Egypt like the UK health insurance system when it is completed. And I've read quite recently that we're going to cut short. It was planned to go till uh, uh, 2032. Hopefully, we can do it in a short. So that one is the most significant single uh, parameter is going to convert the health uh, performance within Egypt into a, a, a more advanced country. All other initiatives are absolutely fine, but they served a little bit of, so women has served women, the waiting list has served the patients with surgical disorders, but the comprehensive health insurance has served everybody in the government that's already started and in the ones that are waiting. I have only one le minute left for me here, yeah. and uh, before I go, how do you view Egypt's giving importance of human capital or human or investing in human? Just Absolutely. One Just one minute or less than a minute. Uh, getting uh, interested in health and education will convert Egypt into a developed nation. With God's will, yes. With God's will and the good performance of all the Egyptians. Dr. Uh, Saeed Abdelhadi, former Dean of Faculty of Medicine and Surah University, thank you so much for being with us tonight. Pleasure. Wishing pleasure. you all the best. Dear viewers, many thanks for watching. Tomorrow will be another debate with another colleague. Good night.